The president said something to the effect of, I'm the president, take me up to the Capitol now. To which Bobby responded, sir, we have to go back to the West Wing. A former aide to White House Chief of Staff Mark Meadows describing the Capitol chaos on January 6. Cassidy Hutchinson says that former President Trump became violent when he was told he could not go to the Capitol. And that's not all. Our D.C. Bureau Chief Ben Kennedy live now on Capitol Hill with more on today's explosive testimony. Ben. Well, Kyle Medical lawmakers heard firsthand testimony about former President Trump's actions on January 6 and even how he lunged at Secret Service to take him right here to the U.S. Capitol. A last minute hearing investigating the January 6 attack. As the House committee examining the insurrection says new evidence could not wait. It's important that the American people hear that information immediately. Appearing before the panel, Cassidy Hutchinson, former top aide to then President Trump's chief of staff, Mark Meadows, who she says told her things might get real, real bad on January 6th. She testified about a meeting between Meadows and Trump's personal attorney, Rudy Giuliani, a part of a pressure campaign to overturn the 2020 election. When hearing Rudy's take on January 6th and then Mark's response, that was the first, that evening was the first moment that I remember feeling scared. Hutchinson shared shocking testimony that moments before his speech on the ellipse, Trump wanted security removed to allow more people in to hear his remarks, even after being aware the crowd had weapons and body armor. I heard the president say something to the effect of, you know, I, I don't care that they have weapons. They're not here to hurt me. Take bags away. Just to be clear, Ms. Hutchinson, is it your understanding that the president wanted to take the mags away and said that the armed individuals were not there to hurt him. That's a fair assessment. And despite knowing the mob was armed, told them to march on the Capitol amid calls for then Vice President Mike Pence not to certify the election. We're going to walk down to the Capitol. But Trump did not travel to the Capitol that day because his security deemed it unsafe. Hutchinson recalled what Secret Service agents told her happened inside the presidential limo. The president said something to the effect of, I'm President, take me up to the Capitol now. To which Bobby responded, Sir, we have to go back to the West Wing. The President reached up towards the front of the vehicle to grab at the steering wheel. Mr. Engel grabbed his arm, said, Sir, you need to take your hand off the steering wheel. We're going back to the West Wing. We're not going to the Capitol. Mr. Trump then used his free hand to lunge towards Bobby Angle. And Mr. when Mr. Renato had recounted this story to me, he had motioned towards his clavicles. And during the testimony, Trump did weigh in on Truth Social, his social media network, to say, I hardly know who this person, Cassidy Hutchinson, is, as he called her a phony and a leaker. Calvin, Nicole? Today, with what we learned today, Ben, during the hearings, could former President Trump face criminal charges after all this? Well, Nicole, that's really the big question. The panel says, look, they will turn over their findings and evidence to the Department of Justice, and it is there they will decide if Trump and his allies should be charged.